Lastly, we come to a type of differentiation known as logarithmic differentiation. If you have y is equal to x power n, where n is a positive integer or n is a rational number, already we know that dy by dx is n x power n minus 1. Here, n is a constant. Suppose on the other hand, if you have y is equal to x to the power of x, which is a variable. You cannot apply the rule that we have seen earlier to find out the derivative in this case. If you come across y is equal to x power x, especially when the exponent is a function of y, take logarithm and then apply the differentiation property. Now, when I take logarithm, I now get log y is equal to x log x. The right hand side is a product of two functions. So, we can apply the product rule here. The left hand side is a function of function. So, when I differentiate log y, I get 1 by y into dy by dx. In the right hand side, you get x into 1 by x plus log x into 1. We apply the product rule. So, dy by dx is nothing but y into 1 plus log x. But you know that y is nothing but x to the power of x. So, this is equal to x to the power of x into 1 plus log x. So, we have now noted that whenever the exponent is a function of x, you must differentiate this using the idea of logarithmic differentiation, except for the function y equal to e power x. In the case of e power x, we have already seen the derivatives also e to the power of x. If you consider x power x or x power y like that, you have to take logarithm before differentiation and apply the product rule, find out dy by dx. Logarithmic differentiation is also applied in the complicated product and quotient functions if you come across. Now, for example, I will indicate how to apply the logarithmic differentiation in a complicated function like y is equal to e to the power of x square into sin x divided by 1 plus x square. Now, you take logarithm. So, log y is equal to x square log e plus log sin x minus logarithm of 1 plus x square. Now, it is easy to differentiate. When you differentiate with respect to x, you get 1 by y dy by dx equals 2x minus 1 over cos x into, sorry, 1 over sin x into cos x minus 1 by 1 plus x square into 2x. So, dy by dx is equal to y into 2x minus cot x minus 2x by 1 plus x square, where y stands for the given function. Like that, when you come across complicated function involving product and quotient, if you take logarithm, it will be easier to differentiate rather than directly applying the product rule quotient rule or a function of function rule.